Since the days of the American Revolution, the colors have been one of the most important elements of a military unit. Therefore, taking the center of our formation in just a moment and bearing the national color is the nation's foremost color team, the 3rd Infantry's Continental Color Guard, led by Staff Sergeant Colt Stafford. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the advancing of the colors. Regiment reflects the growth and development of our nation. 55 well earned battle streamers, 2 battle unit awards, 3 meritorious unit combinations, and 5 superior unit awards attest to the Old Guard's record of bravery in action and achievements during peace time. In 1922, the War Department granted permission for the Old Guard to pass and review with bayonets fixed. The Old Guard will now fix bayonets to the traditional beat of the drum.
ladies and gentlemen, taking the reviewing stand are the reviewing officials for today's ceremony. Colonel Frederick R. Denson and Command Sergeant Major Luther F. Leg III, accompanied by the hosts, Major General Michael L. Howard, Commanding General, United States Army Military District of Washington, and Command Sergeant Major Paul E. Biggs, Command Sergeant Major, United States Army Military District of Washington.
ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the advancing of the colors and remain standing for the United States National Anthem. Department of the Army Special Orders. By order of the Secretary of the Army, the following soldiers of the Department of the Army are retired. Colonel Frederick R. Denison, Logistics. Command Sergeant Major Luther F. Legg III, Adjutant General's Corps. Colonel 
John N. Altman, Military Intelligence. Lieutenant Colonel Stephen E. Wasco, Logistics. <laughs> Major Stephen R. Cayman, Signal Corps. Major William T. Carter, Field Artillery. Major Young M. Joy, Military Police Corps. Major Daniel A. Cruz, Adjutant General Corps. Major Desmond M. Gittin, Major Cassandra Y. Pride Call, Logistics. Yeah. Captain Carl L. Vickers, Medical Service Corps. Chief War Officer 3, Jason L. Blair, Signal Corps.
ladies and gentlemen, Joe Howard. Take lessons that you taught us and carry on the high standards that you established. 
and that sets your example will shape the Army for decades to come. Rest assured that the Army remains in good hands because of your leadership. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Great Nation, thank you for many, many years of incredibly selfless service. God bless you and your family. Farewell, and I wish you my very best.